Hey, how you doing? Rich here. Hey, we're going to be working on this uh, Tao Tao here. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for like 30 bucks. It just got posted. You know, the guy just wanted some quick money. A buddy of his had it sitting on the side of his house for years, and he gave it to him. And so his friend just needed, he told me he needed some lunch money or something. So I was like, okay, $30, let's do it. So this was really mostly all in one piece. And if you want to follow along, it's going to be a series of videos on how I clean stuff up and just do whatever it needs to get it up and running again. I figured it'd be a pretty cool project for me and my uh, son. He's 16. You know, he might want to mess around with it, show him a few things about mechanics and whatever. So uh, that's it. And we're going to see if we can get it going. It was mostly in one piece. I already got started on it, as you can see, but mostly all the fairings and everything I got. But uh, if you want to follow along, I'm going to make a playlist out of this. And so here we go. Thanks for stopping by. If you, uh, this helps you out, you know, with uh, any of the troubleshooting that I do or whatever throughout the videos, just, uh, you know, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And uh, let's get to it. There's that pump. Still some goo in there, if you can see it squirting out. I'm trying to get some light on it. I'm at a bad angle. See that stuff squirting out? Yep. So we'll get that all cleaned out. And here are the main jets. I really want to get some light on this. There we go. Okay. So there's that. The bottom of the bowl. You can see where that fuel comes out of the accelerator. Where does that go? So that would go like the accelerator pump. Let this go on. Okay. Like this. Accelerator pump port is right there. And it goes up and just shoots right into the throat of the carburetor there. That's that. Now let's see if I got a good size flathead to get on this main jet. I'm guessing it's the main jet because it's the big one. <clears throat> okay. And that's unscrewing fairly well. Okay. And there's that. And that looks like it's pretty. And then also down here, I also want to get to the. Uh, the little pinholes that are probably inside of this tube right here. But let's get this load off. Lots of pressure. There, okay. And there's the needle. Looks good. It's good to me. It's just everything's sticky. I'm going to go ahead and put this screw right back in here. Or should I? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't think it's going to fall out. And it doesn't look like there's anything going on down in there. Seat looks good. So go ahead and pull this small jet out of here next. Lots of pressure down. Okay, good. I'm sure this is, uh, and you always want to check and see, see there's, this has got four little holes that you got to poke through and this is, looks like this tube is full of goo. So we'll clean that. Let's get this one off. Grab a wrench. Okay, I get, had to go hunt down a wrench, and I'm sure this is not the right one because this should be metric. This is a quarter inch. The box end won't go around it, but the open end will. So let's see if we can get this main jet out of here. There we go. Okay. Didn't want to, didn't want to damage it too much, strip it too much. If not, I would have to get the vice grips. Okay, so the, all those holes are. Oh, I'm seeing that the jet's open, though. I can see 
I can see light through there. If you can see that. It is open, but those tubes along the side have goo. I'll see the goo coming off of my finger there. So I'll just blow that out, clean it out, soak them in a little bit of the uh, parts cleaner, carburetor cleaner. Swish it around a little bit, blow it off with some compressed air. We'll put some of that carburetor cleaner uh, down in here too. Also down in the bowl, but I'm just going to keep that carburetor cleaner off of this rubber stuff. It's just going to damage it if it gets on there. I'm going to leave it just as it is. Here is another little flathead screw that's going into the uh, the pump, the accelerator pump mechanism. I'll take that off, probably squirt that a little bit. Uh, might clean this whole thing up here so that it pumps smoother. Yeah, so I'm probably pushing on it too hard. It's like you don't need much. Stuff's not coming out of there the way it was. I guess I, I guess that's just the jet. We could pull that out. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna need a smaller one if I wanna not damage this. Yeah, it's just uh, not wanting to turn. This thing's working though. So I might just leave it alone. Like take this out. Okay, it seemed to be working fine. Um, I was pumping it earlier. Kind of lost its, lost the pump. Oh, still, still doing it. I'm still going to clean it out. So it looks like the carburetor. Some ain't, some ain't going right with the carburetor itself. There. So I'm taking these off right now. I'm just on the edge of the bench there because let's see what's going on under here. Okay, we got a spring, and we got some goo. I'll just clean that off real good. What I do with these is I'll soak them in gas. Okay, we got the boot. It goes on the end of the accelerator pump rod. That's what I'm calling it. And here's the pump mechanism, plunger, whatever. So I'm just going to soak that in some gas and call it good. I might, if I can find another uh, smaller screwdriver that fits that perfectly, I'll take that jet out and clean it out. But we know it's working. And on this accelerator pump diaphragm, I'm not going to use carburetor cleaner, just gas and like a plastic brush. This is delicate. The uh, carburetor cleaner will probably damage your accelerator pump if you use it on there. Next, we're going to take off top compared to the other ones for sure. This has the little, uh, eh, what do you call that, kind of a grip on there. Okay, two of those. And now we have this long spring. Come out here, spring like that. And stuck. I think this should come out. Okay, this just fell out. This thing. Yeah, probably, I hope so. Actually, this got to go down over the needle. Yeah, this got to go down over that needle. So this end goes in that way because there's the the other end of that needle. And now to take this out, I wonder if it wants to come out because it's not even pushing down. It's like it's stuck in there. There it is. Okay. It's loosened up. So we'll push this out. It's kind of like jammed. So we might have to sand a little bit or do something with the edge of the slide. Okay, so nice and gently on this diaphragm, get it out of its grooves. And it looks like it only goes in one way. It's got a little rubber tab right there that lines up right there so that'll be that'll show us how to get it back in using that little guide right there
and putting that back to where it goes. And so let's check this out. This diaphragm looks to be in pretty decent shape. Might have just been stuck in there. Okay, there's the needle. It just fell out. Okay, and it is set. It's got grooves on it. And if you want to have, there's a way to like jet these things and get the mixture right, but this controls, you know, whether or not, I think the, the lower it is, further up it's going to go and allow more fuel in. So it'll be a little richer if you wanted it more lean. So this is like something you can use to adjust uh, depending on the elevation where you live. You you know want it to uh, be richer or leaner. And I believe it only matters when it's wide open throttle. So that fell out of here. That goes back in there eventually. And down there's a little through the little hole right there. There we go. It's just going to sit in there. Then that plastic thing goes on top of that, and then the spring on top of that, and then the cap. So this slide was like hanging up. I don't know why. Probably just all the goo and stuff. wasn't wasn't wanting to uh, push back through there. We'll take some stuff and just kind of some emery cloth or something like that, smooth this out really good, smooth, and just get any any crud that's down in here. Try to clean it off real good, and then maybe it'll uh, operate smoothly. Okay, so what do we got here? It's like just kind of a spray out, blow out. I don't want to get anything on any of the, uh, the rubber. I'm just going to leave this rubber on here, though should be fine. So just spray out, blow out the passages as best we can. And I wanted to take a look at this accelerator pump situation. So when, okay, so that's, it's now at rotating. All right, so see that accelerator pump action? When you give it gas, which is coming this way, supposed to rock on that accelerator pump little lever right there when that arm goes that way it's pushing down it's pumping and I guess that's about it's about all it takes so when they real fast pump it so it would be down like this so it'd be like that's the action of it right there that's all it is it doesn't take much. I guess those tolerances in there are just so small. It'll it'll shoot raw fuel right out of that uh, tube right there into the throat. That's for that quick acceleration when you need it. All right. Let's get to spraying and cleaning. So I'll just, uh, yeah, the jets and stuff. I'm just going to soak in a little bit of a um, little bath of carburetor cleaner. And I'll take a very small amount. I don't like using a lot of carburetor cleaner and put it down in every little orifice that I can find. And that's about it. So any little hole I see. Okay, definitely down in the cylinder, clean it off, make it nice. And everywhere, a couple holes down in there. Spray it off, blow it out, and we'll put it back together.